Well, let's get things started with our weather headlines for tonight. As that ridge sits in place, we're looking at temperatures to continue to increase throughout the week this week, with Tuesday and Wednesday shaping up to be the hottest days. The National Weather Service has already issued heat advisory for Sunday until 9 p.m. tomorrow night, and that is likely to be extended throughout the week, possibly being upgraded to an excessive heat warning. But good news though, that ridge that's been controlling this temperature is gonna weaken by the end of the week, allowing temperatures to cool off by a couple degrees. If we go ahead and look at our current watches and warnings, we can see our northern counties are under that heat advisory, but up in that DFW Metroplex, up until that Texas-Oklahoma border, they're under an excessive heat warning. They've had some brutally high temperatures right now. If we go ahead and take a look, then we can see 107 in Wichita Falls. I've seen that they have had some feels like temperatures over 110 degrees. Laredo, San Antonio, El Paso also joining us in hitting that triple digit mark today. If we go ahead and take a look closer to the Contra Valley, we can see 104 in San Angelo. Robert Lee has been the high, hottest today at 105. Junction, Sonora, El Dorado, Mertzen, they are all also over that triple digit mark as well today. So it has been hot and it will continue to be hot throughout this week. But if we go ahead and switch things over to the tropics, here is Hurricane Ernesto. Ernesto made landfall today in Bermuda as a Category 1 hurricane with winds at 75 miles an hour, so just barely reaching that cutoff. Ernesto has brought a lot of strong winds as well as heavy rainfall and flooding. As we can see, Ernesto is only moving at 6 miles an hour, so it is not moving very fast, giving it plenty of time to keep bringing more and more rain to that area. But over the next coming hours, it is expected to eventually clear out and continue to move north northeast through the Atlantic Ocean. So it is not expected to be a threat to the U.S., but along that east coast, they have been getting some very large swells as well as an increased risk of rip currents due to Ernesto's very large wind field. If we go ahead now and look at our upper level weather pattern to see what our weather maker is, it is once again this very large ridge we can see we are centered right over that ridge axis right now. And as we go on through the week, we see it continue to build and strengthen, and that's gonna keep increasing those temperatures. But here we are on Friday, we can see it begins to weaken and flatten out going into the weekend, which will let things cool off. If we look at our future cast for tonight, we can see a couple of those clouds make their way through overnight tonight, but another hot and mostly sunny day tomorrow as well. Our forecast for tonight, 77, warm, mostly clear skies. Winds pretty calm out of the southwest. Tomorrow, 105 degrees. We have that heat advisory in effect until 9 p.m. tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised if it gets extended. Looking at our 70, we see those temperatures increase. 106 on Monday, 108 Tuesday, Wednesday, before we do see that cool down to 102 and 100 Friday and Saturday.